Hydro. Or five pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> Breastfeeding for the first time. Can't quite tell if his laugh is good, but at least his mouth's moving. <laughs> he has a second motion now. Good job. Baby with no official name yet. Alright, we are off. He's a little burrito. We're gonna head to the postpartum room now. Going on the road. We breastfed three times now. Or sorry, I guess we breastfed twice. And he's doing well so far, I think. We doing skin to skin. I have no idea what I'm doing. Is he just sleeping? I can't sleep. Oh, he moved his head. Oh. Can't see. Just bonding. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to eat my dinner now and try to absorb all the information that we just were given. Oh yeah, by the way, his name is Ezra. I don't think we mentioned that yet. But it looks like we're going home Saturday morning. Alright, it is almost 8 o'clock and it's been a whirlwind. Um, we're settled in our room. I'll give a room tour in a little bit. I'm eating my second dinner now. Um, baby is next to me. We did another round of breastfeeding and then he's fast asleep again. And then I'll probably have to wake him up in another three hours to do more breastfeeding after I finish eating. And I need to pee. I peed for the first time. Wasn't bad. Didn't burn or hurt at all. Um, but I didn't have enough. I don't know. It was a CMI. And so um, they need two, like 200 milliliters or something twice before something gets cleared. Or maybe then they, oh, then they know I don't need the IV fluids. So just going to finish eating. I also want to show you guys my body. What it looks like i haven't really looked at myself in the mirror but my stomach is definitely obviously a lot smaller now i'm biased but i think our baby is so cute and yep we decided on the name ezra james um ezra is a name that actually hui and i both thought of separately um and so we thought it was meant to be and is biblical James, I like the name James, and I thought it was a good, strong middle name. And yeah, so he is officially Ezra James Tran. Uh, we are very much in love with our little bundle of joy, our little burrito. <laughs> Alright guys, this is day zero of postpartum, like, technically it's the same day. Don't mind all this happening, but... Yep, I'm definitely still poochy, but it's gone down. It's crazy. Do all newborns sleep soundly like this? He has not made a peep. Really, this whole day? Other than when he got some shots. We'll see what tomorrow or tonight is like. He's not eating, so we're coming to get him to He's not interested. Mm. Nope. Field. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It is about almost 8.30 on Friday, October 9th. So we've been here for less than 24 hours. Baby's not even 24 hours old yet. He's actually getting circumcised right now, so he's not in the room. It's the first time we've been without him. Um, breakfast just arrived, so I'm gonna probably eat and then get ready for when baby comes back. 
and just probably feed another few hours. I just showered. I feel like a totally new person. I mean, showering seemed a little daunting because of just what happened down there, but it was fine because I think after you go to the bathroom several times, you're used to using the spray bottle on it and just dabbing. So the hot water with the soap felt really good to just be clean since I have not showered since I left the day that my water broke or the night that my water broke. So I was able to sh uh, wash my hair and um, I'm wearing the robe they gave me. But yeah, so far the night wasn't too bad. We just have to wake up pretty much every three hours because he needs to get his glucose test done since he's smaller and I feed at that time right after anyway. So sometimes he'd be too sleepy to latch and then other times he did feed. Breastfeeding has been a bit of a journey so far and a little difficult, but I'm gonna see the lactation consultant later today, hopefully, and it's just that his latch sometimes isn't good or he just doesn't wake up, no matter how many times I try to wake him up to feed, so he's just not interested. So he is, he did poop and pee once already, which is the goal for the first new, first day. And um, he really only cried once and it was because he had a poopy diaper, so legitimate. And the other times he would maybe cry for like a few seconds and then he would just put himself back to sleep. So yeah, they say this is pretty normal for newborns. Um, we'll see how the next night goes in this day. <sighs> Probably other stuff that I need to catch you guys up on, but yeah, it's just been a lot of like waking up, feeding, sitting in the bed. Oh, I guess I should do a small tour. Also, here's we eating part of the breakfast. So there's my messy bed. It's actually pretty comfortable, I mean, considering. This is Hui's little area. His makeshift bed. This pull-out table thing that we eat on and stuff. Random chair. Suitcases bathroom which is not bad I mean it ain't no hotel but it is what it is all of my postpartum items going to the bathroom has definitely been um, not a challenge but it just takes like an extra five minutes because you have to do all this extra stuff use pads um, I'll probably post a postpartum video later but I definitely feel like using the mesh underwear actually isn't bad and the Depends is also good for more like overnights when you're laying down and um, I'll probably explain it more later but yeah I've been trying to alternate between the two and see which one I like better and I broke out my Frida uh, Mom bottle and yeah so I'm gonna go eat and then we'll see where the day takes us. There's a lot of tests that uh, Ezra has to take and some other screenings and things and then we're gonna get his birth certificate figured out and yeah so I'll catch in with you guys later. Hui is doing skin to skin because Ezra's body temperature has been pretty on the lower end and I am eating. Don't mind that random red spot on my face. It's because I am slightly allergic to the ibuprofen. It, I don't think it's the ibuprofen itself. It's like the coating. Don't ask. But anyway, Ezra is doing skin to skin with me right now because we should be feeding, but he is, well, as a nurse said, upset because he got circumcised and he's tired. So he's sort of just sleeping and we'll see if he shows cues like he wants to eat, but he did eat um, previously three hours ago. Um, but she said because his glucose levels have been good, um, we don't have to be too stressed about the fact that he may not be, he may not eat this session, which kind of seems to be the case. Seems like he eats every other session, and I can tell the latch was not that good the last one, so I definitely need to work on that, but the lactation consultant should come by sometime today, hopefully. Um, in terms of postpartum, I did, uh, I, there is a little bit of cramping sometimes, and obviously getting in and out of bed or like sitting up onto the area hurts a little bit, but it's like a dull kind of period pain almost some just some of the beginning contractions I would say um, I can also tell my muscles are pretty sore probably from bearing down when doing pushing but um, yeah it's all seems normal and otherwise walking's fine like I said going to the bathroom is fine the bleeding um, it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be 
it's basically like a normal almost like a normal period for me maybe a little heavier because my periods tend to be heavy anyway so yeah we're just uh hanging out doing skin to skin and then um waiting for wherever the day takes us he looks so peaceful We were struggling to get Ezra to eat for the past four, almost five hours, but we noticed his diaper needed to get changed, so we changed the diaper. We was about to do skin to skin with him, and then he woke up, and now he's eating. So that is the accomplishment of the day. Waddler in action. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try to rest because I'm feeling really tired. Day two, I guess. We have Chinese porridge. I was just craving naan and <laughs> roti. Uh, soup, ice cream, blueberries, and veggies. Just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bath. Hmm. Ezra's first bath. Coming from skin to skin with dad. After the bath, some skin to skin. Not crying anymore, are you? Did not like his first bath experience, but I don't think most babies do. <laughs> but he's so clean now. Cause his hair did have some stuff I re remember from a even after he was born. One advantage, we can watch the Lakers game. Peaceful baby did not last long. Welcome to the real world. So it has officially been exactly 24 hours since Ezra has been born. So I'm gonna close out this 24 hours with a newborn video. Sorry the intro or the beginning is very abrupt because it basically cuts off and starts right after birth. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little look into our lives. Honestly, the first 40, the first 24 hours is a lot of feeding, sleeping, changing diapers, feeding, sleeping, changing diapers, eating, the same old stuff and then personally recovering as postpartum but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content and i'll see you in my next video bye